turned out of Bridgeport where a huge fire is still smoldering at the site of what was an empty factory. The fire broke out at about 6 o'clock last night at the building on Hancock Avenue. The big question today, the one authorities are trying to answer, how did it start? News 8's Allie Reed live in Bridgeport with the latest on the investigation. Allie. Good afternoon, Chris. As you can see behind me, firefighters are still here working, still an active scene. They're putting out hot spots with the water. Now, this whole area around here, the streets around here have been closed off, so you can't get access nearby. And now they're worried about air quality. They say air quality in the vicinity is poor. They're asking residents, if we could zoom in, you could see the smoke. They're asking residents nearby to stay inside. Fortunately, it's not a big residential area, so not many residents are impacted by this. Let's roll to some video that we shot earlier today. You can see firefighters here putting out the hot spots. We talked to the assistant chief. He says usually they try in a situation like this to go inside of the factory, send firefighters inside of the factory to put out the fire. But in this case, he says the structure was deemed unsafe so they can't get into the building. So they're forced to fight the fire from the outside, which is why they have fire trucks, hoses lined all around the old warehouse building trying to put it out. Now, just about 45 minutes to an hour ago, firefighters shut off the water supply. The assistant chief said they did that to try to locate where exactly the fire started, where exactly the core of this is. Let's hear what he had to say about that. Uh, right now, there's no water flowing at all. I want it to burn up a little bit so I can see where it is and then redirect our, our assets. Now, 20 firefighters are on the scene right now. They turned the water back on, as you can see behind me. I asked the assistant chief just minutes ago why they did that. That means they found where the fire did start. He said, no, that's not the case, but it started smoldering at one place. So they're kind of, I think, throughout the day just going to play a game of put the water on where it's smoldering and then release it, stop the water to try to figure out exactly where the core of this fire is, where it's smoldering the central location of it all and he says they're prepared to be here into the night to try to figure it out and of course stay here and make sure that they put out the hot spots he says they still do not know the cause of the fire investigators are on the scene right now checking that out looking into it there were reports of arson but the assistant chief said it's way too early to tell the red cross has been on the scene they were here they had a truck here with a cooling center for firefighters because of course they have to deal with the elements the extreme heat out here so that's had a big impact on them they've had to make sure to take breaks in the shade and make sure they're staying hydrated with water and gatorade and things like that so we will be on the scene continue to update you with the very latest you can head to our website for the latest updates wtnh.com for now reporting live in bridgeport Allie reed news 8.